Morning, everybody. A quick update on the manual brakes. Um, I saw that UPR, um, the firewall plate came in, so I figured I'd go ahead and got up early, get started on this. Um, one thing we did get the, uh, we adjusted the pivot point on the brake pedal. So here was the stock location, and we went up about an inch and a quarter, and that'll give us more leverage. Um, so that was done, and all I did, this, I used the stock um, stud. You just have to, you have to grind it off on the back, and it'll punch out, and then you got to drill a 9 16 hole um, up here. And I just, you know, I did a couple starter bits, small ones, worked my way up till I got to um, use one of my step bits to go to 9 16 then pressed it in with the vise and um, threw some uh, threw some terrible welds on the back there. But anyway, it'll hold. So the pedal box is ready to go back in. Here's the UPR, the little uh, firewall plate. So that's ready to go. I'll have to go to the parts store and get um, some longer brake line just for this one. This one, um, for the back brakes, as you can see, I've got, there's plenty of um, plenty of extra coiled up here to, to stretch, to put that back in the location there. So that will be the pedal box will have to go in. Um, this is really, this is the hard part. The messy part here is, you know, taking the steering column out to get the pedal box out. Um, it's not too bad, but it is a pain. Just the only, it's hard getting the very, uh, the top left-hand corner bolt is the, is the hard one. You can sneak your way in there. I actually ended up just using a, just using a wrench right here. But so that'll, that'll go back in tonight. Um, and we will go from there. I, I'm still waiting. The only other part I'm waiting for is the, uh, adjustable push rod for this part. Um, since we won't be using this power brake booster anymore, I've got a new push rod coming. So I just got to wait for that, but I'll go ahead and get this back up in them. Actually the, the good thing about using this here, uh, if you can reuse this, again, just grind it off. You have access to a, to a welder or have somebody that can weld it, is uh, your factory brake light switch and everything will just go right back on there. So anyway, this will be going back in tonight. And that's kind of really, that's really the hardest part. So I got up early this morning and I'm probably, probably about an hour and a half into it. And I've got that far. So it's... It's doable, and again, just with hand tools. So hopefully this will be knocked out for the most part tonight, and we'll go from there. And then I'm just still waiting on that uh, high temp epoxy to seal up the uh, thermactor ports and the and the EGR, the heat crossovers. And then the engine will be ready to go back together. Everything else is ready here on the engine. So that's just hanging out for right now. And then uh, we'll get the heads all back assembled. I've got new, I've got new uh, valve seals and everything ready to go. So I think this was really the hard part. I had to do a lot of research and some people said you have to, some people say you move the pedal down to the lower mounting points here, but then, but then the pedals, but then the pedal is like way longer than their, than your clutch pedal. So um, I went ahead and ground that one off and then moved it up and then uh, just threw some threw some weld on it, drilled it. So that should work good. So that's all back together, ready to go back in. All right guys, hope everybody has a great day and I'll probably do a little follow up tonight when we're further along with this um, manual brake conversion. Thanks.